Let us now discuss the mandatory inputs, tools, and outputs of the Create User Stories process. The mandatory inputs of this process are Scrum Core Team, Prioritize Product Backlog, Done Criteria, and Personas. Scrum Core Team The Scrum Team, also referred to as the Development Team, is a team which is responsible for estimating user stories and delivering the project deliverables. Scrum teams are cross-functional and self-organizing. The team decides the amount of work to commit to in a sprint and determines the best way to perform the work. The Scrum team carries out all the work related to development and testing of deliverables as well as quality assurance. Prioritize Product Backlog The Prioritize Product Backlog contains a prioritized list of business and project requirements written in the form of epics, which are high-level user stories. The Prioritize Product Backlog is based on three primary factors – value, risk or uncertainty, and dependencies. It is also referred to as the Risk Adjusted Product Backlog since it includes identified and assessed risks related to the project. It also encompasses all approved changes that can be appropriately prioritized in the Prioritized Product Backlog. Done Criteria Done criteria are a set of rules that are applicable to all user stories. It removes ambiguity from requirements and helps the team adhere to mandatory quality norms. A user story is considered done when it is demonstrated to and approved by the product owner, who judges it on the basis of the done criteria and the user story acceptance criteria. Personas Personas are highly detailed fictional characters, representative of the majority of users and of other stakeholders who may not directly use the end product. Personas are created to identify the needs of the target user base. The product owner can use personas to more effectively prioritize features to create the prioritized product backlog. The tool that must be used in this process is user story writing expertise. The product owner, based on his or her interactions with the stakeholders, business knowledge and expertise, and inputs from the team, develop user stories that will form the initial prioritized product backlog for the project. The prioritized product backlog represents the total sum of what must be completed for the project. The objective of this exercise is to create elaborated and refined user stories that can be approved, estimated, and committed to by the Scrum team. The mandatory outputs of this process are user stories and user story acceptance criteria. User stories. User stories are a simple way of documenting the requirements and desired end user functionality. A user story tells you three things about the requirements, who, what, and why. The requirements expressed in user stories are short, simple, and easy to understand statements. The predefined standard format results in enhanced communication among the stakeholders and improved estimations by the team. Some user stories may be too large to handle within a single sprint. These large user stories are often called epics. Once epics come up in the prioritized product backlog to be completed in an upcoming sprint, they are further decomposed into smaller user stories. The prioritized product backlog is a dynamic list that is continuously updated because of reprioritization and new, updated, refined, and sometimes deleted user stories due to changing business requirements. User Story Acceptance Criteria Every user story has associated acceptance criteria. User stories are subjective, so acceptance criteria provide the objectivity required for the user story to be considered either done or not done during the sprint review. User story acceptance criteria also provide clarity to the team on what is expected of a user story, remove ambiguity from requirements, and help in aligning expectations. In the sprint review meetings, the acceptance criteria provide the context for the product owner to decide if a user story has been completed satisfactorily. It is the responsibility of the Scrum Master to ensure that the product owner does not change the acceptance criteria of a committed user story in the middle of a sprint.